Hey guys, Scott with your reviews today to turn that dumb garage door opener into a smart one. Real quick and easy install with the Smart Garage Control by Chamberlain. Let's do it. Alright, so in today's video I'm going to be installing the Chamberlain Smart Garage Control. What's great about this is rather than replacing your entire garage door opener to a new one, that could cost $300, $400 on Amazon right now. This guy's 30 bucks. The link is in the description below. Why I'm doing this is we've come home several times and I, of course, forgot to close the garage door and I've got all my RC cars in here. I've got fishing gear, all this kind of stuff. Uh, so it's a little stressful when you come home. You get into life and I get into a little bit of an argument. So I think hopefully this will solve that problem. It alerts you if your garage door open, uh, your garage door is open for more than five minutes, ten minutes, whatever. It'll send you text messages. You can of course check the status of your garage door from anywhere. It's open, is it closed? Several other really cool features for this. And again, thirty bucks. So today I'm just going to be going ahead and installing this guy. Uh, let's do it. There's only a couple things that you'll need for this installation. One is a drill bit. Uh, it's a five thirty seconds and a power drill. And you'll need a tape measure also to measure things. So it's gonna to need to be within five feet of an electrical outlet, and then at least six feet above the floor for the, uh, the hub portion. So basically, we're just gonna mount this guy on the wall. We're gonna mount the sensor and kind of in the top left-hand corner of our garage door. And I'll show you all that in a second. And then we'll connect everything using the, the app that uh, you have to download on your phone. Easy peasy. All right, so really generally in this area, this is where we're gonna put the, put the, uh, the hub. Uh, there's an outlet like literally right below right here and then it's within as long as it's six feet above the floor that's where we're going to put the hub all right so that's all hooked up now it was just a real simple process two screws you wrap around the cord once that's done so let's go ahead and just uh grab our garage door and it says to put the sensor Kind of in the top either the top left corner or the top right corner so obviously everything's closer over here so i'll just end up probably sticking it somewhere in this area here there's an option to just stick this guy that the sensor on the door somewhere but honestly you can see my door already has some kind of pre-drilled holes so i'll probably just end up utilizing a couple maybe one of these and then I'm, i'll just drill one hole and then the thing will be solid forever so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that now Okay, so now that we've got the plate uh, drilled on there, uh, basically we got the sensor here. You gotta take this little tab out uh, to activate the battery. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And now we'll just clip this into place. There we go. Now everything that we need is mounted up. Uh, so now we'll just get the app. All right, guys, so we went ahead and installed the MyQ, the garage door opener itself. Uh, the garage sensor itself right so that's on there uh the wall mount is on as well so it's, everything's connected we're good to go i just wanted to i just wanted to show you here i just wanted to show you uh actually using the app itself so i just brought up the uh the my q app my q everything should be all connected it's really easy so it says garage door closed for four hours so all we have to do to open up the garage door now is just go ahead and tap open. It's just gonna open right from the phone. All right, so now I just got a notification that says your garage door is open by Scott um, at 11.57. So, it says, um, you know, that basically, and now it says also uh, the garage door is now open for 15 seconds. And uh, if you wanna just go ahead and shut it, it's really easy, same, same process, just double tap. It says close. That guy's gonna beep, I think five times, three, four, five. Okay, maybe a little bit more, maybe 10 seconds. There we go. And now it's shutting. And now it says closed. So pretty easy, really, like I said, it works with any 
um, I feel like almost any garage door opener. I have a uh, Chamberlain LiftMaster Professional to half horsepower. Um, and I had this, um, the purple button on the back. Uh, there's the, the learn button, you just hit the learn button, but I'm pretty sure also you can tell that, that <laughs> mine was really worn out, but uh, this is also the cable's purple, so that's kind of how I figured it out in the app about uh, which specific uh, one I had. But anyway, that's Scott with Reviews, guys. Uh, I think this is a great addition to anybody who has left their garage door opener open uh, a couple times. And another cool little bonus is that uh, you can also do Amazon Key. So if you connect the MyQ app with Amazon, if you have Amazon Prime, they will uh, allow you to make the option when you hit delivery, you can actually do my key um, or key delivery and they can actually open the garage door, leave the package in and then close the garage door. I've done that a couple of times now. It's uh, pretty nifty. So that's uh, another cool little additional bonus. But like I said, I think this thing's like $30 on Amazon. It's so good. It's so awesome. It's just a quick little integration rather than replacing the whole, uh, the whole garage door opener itself. Uh, just put this in there and uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, I'll have a link in the description of where to buy this thing, but uh, super recommended. It's an awesome product. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.